Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on a new product that had just came out, at least to my knowledge, about a week ago. About a week ago. To some of you, that may be annoying, but whatever. It is the Airbrush Sally Hansen Gradual Tanning Lotion, and the one that I got was in light to medium. This is the Airbrush Sun, so I'm not sure if they have other gradual tanning lotions that are not supposed to look airbrush, and this is a new airbrushed one. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what things that they tell us is true and what is not so true. The first thing it says it is moisturizing and non-greasy. I don't know so much about moisturizing when I was using the tanning lotion. Um, I didn't feel super dry though, but I didn't feel like I was getting moisturized. It is not greasy. When you first put it on, you're gonna feel like it is. That's how my first reaction was, but it is not greasy and it does dry very, very quickly. I don't know about covering imperfections either. I do have veins on my arms and didn't really cover them, maybe blurred them a little bit, but it didn't cover them. Transfer resistant, yes. I dry, It dried so quickly that it didn't even like take me, oh, I wish I timed this, but I put up my sleeve and I put it down to check if I had any tanning lotion inside like my clothes and it did not transfer over. Then it says streak free and stain free. So I'm guessing it's obviously streak free and uh, I guess patchy if that's what they're talking about the stained look on your arm or wherever you're tanning they're talking about that patchy look i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys it is somewhat streaky i didn't really take pictures of the fourth day which was yesterday because i totally forgot but this is the fifth day that i've been doing it and i wanted to see if you guys um what was i gonna say i just wanted to show you guys on the fourth um, or fifth day of how my tanning was or my tan was looking now that I actually tested it out again I t timed it and um, It took no longer than two and a half minutes to dry up on my arm So that was pretty quick and I just put my sleeve back up and I would be a find find fine <laughs> Two of the things that I loved about this product and you're going to see is that it is a colored lotion. So you know exactly where you're putting the lotion. That's exactly what I want in a lotion so I don't have it clear and I'm like completely clueless of where I'm flipping tanning. I swear you not guys, I am getting a little bit better at this. I started smelling it. I was like, it smells like something so familiar. It smells good. It doesn't smell like coconut. And I was like, oh, it smells like shea butter. That's exactly what is in here. It's shea butter in here. And that's exactly what it smells like. So it does not smell like self tanner. Obviously, one of the main questions that I'm going to get is how does it look? <laughs> I am so disappointed on how the color came out. I so badly wanted this product to work, but I just looked, I felt orange. And I even asked my friends, oh, how does this look? Two of them said it was fine, and the rest of them said I had a tint of orange. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell the contrast between my skin and the oranginess. That is so orange. Look at that orange. The first day it did, like literally the night, like I put it on in the night and then the day like that I woke up that next day and I did have a small tan going on. It did give me a nice, a nice color to my skin with the tiniest tint of orange. But the more I kept applying like the second day and the third day, it kept getting darker and more with like more hints of orange in it, which obviously I didn't want. Everyone has different preferences, so if you did like the way that it looked on me, then you can go ahead and get this because it smells so good. It doesn't smell like self-tanner. It does not transfer. It dries so quickly. No streaking, no patching, anything, at least not anything that's super noticeable as long as you blend it in really nicely. And of course, it develops literally the next day. So it doesn't take that long to develop a nice hint of color. What's the last thing I forgot? Oh, of course, it is a colored lotion so you can see where you're putting the lotion on or what places you're putting the lotion on. 
Remember, it does say back here, use sparingly on ankles, knees, and elbows because those are the places where you tend to be a tad bit drier and it does soak up the lotion so it will get really pigmented and darker than other spots so you want to sparingly use that on the ankles knees and elbows if you do apply it with your hands like mine be sure to wash and scrub the palm of your hands and the fingertips because they will develop color just like anywhere else that you tan so your fingers are going to be tan or orange that is pretty much it for this product. I hope you guys enjoyed my review on it. If you guys want me to test out any more new products that you're kind of scared to purchase and try out for yourself, let me know. I'm actually having a good time buying new products and testing them out for you guys so you guys don't have to waste your time or money on that. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. And if you could please take the time to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos or any other new products that I'm going to be, re be reviewing in the future because I like doing this. I like it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!